it is possible you have been looked down on, trampled upon, mocked, shamed, disrespected, all because you do not live up to the status quo. You feel the pain and suffering, the shame and misery of not being able to afford what your peers have. You feel you can no longer go to a reunion because of low self-esteem. Of course, it could be in your marital status, academics, and even spiritual aspects. This has led many people to commit atrocities only to find themselves in deeper problems. It is very convenient for men to turn towards evil because that is their natural makeup. The moment things are not going according to plan, man's natural instinct is to look for a quick alternative. This is why the Bible tells us in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9, the heart of a man is desperately wicked. The world at large encourages people who are wealthy to look down on those who do not have their riches to show. So many people may have looked down on you and think nothing good can come from you. However, do not lose hope. We have a Father who never fails. Believe in the power of His resurrection. He will make you bigger. When situations like these arise, remember God's word. He knows the beginning from the end. He is God Almighty. He never fails. It is possible that your mates are doing well. God is preparing yours. God has something better for you. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man to change his mind. Have patience. God has a perfect time for him to elevate you. His ways are not our ways, so do not be weary, do not be discouraged, stand firm in Him. Only God can never fail you. God tells us that His word will not come back void to Him without accomplishing it. God sees all, He knows all. He is waiting for you to shine. This is why you have to be patient and wait on Him. He will come through for you and lift you up. As believers in Christ, God knows when we pass through trials and temptations of different forms. He knows our strength and weaknesses, but all He is asking from you is to stay strong in Him. These are periods God is testing your faith. These are times when everything seems bleak and it looks like the heavens are closed. It feels as if you have been deserted by God. Do not give up. Do not give in to that situation because it is only for a while. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 tells us that for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. God is with you during your time of trials. He is guiding you. He does not want you to falter. He wants your faith to be made stronger in Him. When you are passing through such a test, He wants to increase you more. The harder the test, the greater the glory. If you do not pass the test, you would be unable to handle the glory. There are so many examples of people in the Bible who pass through different trials of faith, starting from our father Abraham, Joseph, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and so on. They were put to test and were able to overcome because they held firm and stayed hopeful during their time of trials and tribulations. God is planning something big for you that even your enemy would have no choice but to bow before you. He will give you victory that will stun your enemies. The enemies are not only people we see every day, but also spiritual enemies of our soul, which is the devil. The plan of the devil is to kill, steal, and destroy our soul. This is why as Christians, we have to be watchful and vigilant because the devil is only looking for a tiny loophole to destroy all you have built. The devil does this by exploiting the children of God when they are in one predicament or the other and they compromise by committing sin. This will allow the devil to have a grip over their lives. It is possible you have fallen into the trap of the devil and his agents. It is possible you have compromised in one way or the other, looking for a shortcut out of your predicament. 
God is ready to deliver you if only you confess and forsake that sin. God is willing to give you a new glory if only you are ready to restitute your ways before God. When you do this, God will fight your battles and give you victory over your enemies. The moment you trust God's will to fight for you, then He will surely fight your battles. People who think you will amount to nothing will be shocked because they do not know what God has in store for you. God will be preparing your blessings. An instance is when Joseph was sold as a slave by his own brothers because they hated him. He was made a slave in the house of Potiphar, but God elevated him to be head slave. God had to make him pass through all these trials because God wanted him to be a governor in the land of Egypt and save his family. At the end of it all, his brothers who sold him came back with his father and they all bowed before him. Another instance was the life of David. David was a shepherd boy who was the youngest son of his father, Jesse, and was forgotten in the desert to tend to the flocks. However, God was only preparing him to be a strong warrior and a great king. When the lion and the bear attacked his flocks, he was able to kill them. At the end of it all, David became a great king, a man after God's heart. As long as you are serving God and doing His will, no matter what you pass through, it is just for a while. God is only preparing you for your greatness ahead. Do not let mockers and evil ones discourage you. Rather, key into God's word and promises. God's promises are yea and amen. Stay humble, stay courageous, endure to the end and God will surely surprise you. It is possible that many people have condemned you based on your misdeeds in the past. They look down on you as someone who is a failure. Your family has no regard for you because they feel you can never amount to something good. Even the Church of God may have castigated you because they feel you are a sinner. Man may scorn, mock, and look down on you, but God will never do that. He will take you from the miry clay and lift you up as He said in Psalm chapter 40 verse 2. All God is asking of you is to open your heart to Him. God is a God of second chance. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary. God has not written you off even though man has. God is still giving you that second chance, no matter how brutal and evil your past might have been. He wants you to repent and start afresh with Him. He will change you totally for good. Those who think you will not amount to someone of substance would come crawling at your feet. God will shame them because even in the glory of the later shall be greater than the former. Just keep believing on His promises and He will lift you up and make you bigger than your wildest imagination.